I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to another review? This is another review from my friend Efri. Thank you so much for the request, man. Uh, if anyone's ever interested in sending requests for pretty much any type of videos, you do do so either directly via my PayPal or join me on my Patreon. Links are down below in the info box. But he wanted me to talk about, and I chatted with him on email about this film, Who Finds a Friend Finds a Treasure? Because he had started getting a little bit into these two guys, Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer. Now, before I get into the film, I probably should explain who those guys are, because I think a lot of people, they're not going to know who these guys are. They are Italian actors way back in the day, in the 60s, 70s, the end to the 80s. They... They had done one or two films before, but the big film they found success with was They Called Me Trinity, which I love that film. I grew up with They Call Me Trinity. I just, I love the film. If you've seen Django Unchained, remember at the end of the film, you have the music. At the end of Django with Jamie Foxx. That song is from They Call Me Trinity. That's the main thing with They Call Me Trinity. And love that film. It's one of my favorite westerns. It's a, it's a western comedy. And because it's a success, they had a sequel. They still call me Trinity. And then those two became huge stars in Italy. They starred in certain films by themselves. And a lot of films they starred together, including this film. And it went through the 70s up into the 80s. They did Crime Busters. They did this film. They did... Oh God, I'd have to look at their filmography to get all of them. But funny enough, while I was looking up information on a quick note, someone recently made a video game with these guys. If you look up slaps and beans terrence hill bud spencer someone made a beat em up video game with these guys and it looks fantastic it looks like these people put a lot of love into it just look up a playthrough slaps and beans or type in bud spencer video game or however it's called slaps and beans it's a video game not that long ago and they got music from the movies and it opens with the They Call Me Trinity music and they fight like they do in the movies and you, you learn something new every day, but that was a lot of fun to, to see as a fan of those guys. Now it's not a high budget game, but you tell these people of the love of these guys and I thought that was really cool. But anyway, looking a bit into the filmography Again, these were Italian guys, got very successful into, I got, I don't remember, I have not memorized these names, so I apologize. But you have Miami Super Cops, you have Go For It, Crime Busters, Two Missionaries, Watch Out We're Mad, I think that's one of their best ones. 
aside from they call me Trinity and they still call me Trinity, watch out we're mad. Like if my friend Efri sees this, check out Watch Out We're Mad. I think you will enjoy that one. Does that one is one of their best ones. I think even Donald Pleasance has an appearance in that. It's called Watch Out We're Mad 1974. And I haven't seen all of them, but they did do a lot of movies. All the Way Boys, Odds and Evens. They're very successful from the 70s and into the 80s. And apparently, in 2018, he directed it wrote and starred in a film called My Name is Thomas. Huh. Looks like it's more of a drama, but interesting. Yeah, it's a drama. Wow, he was still working in 2018. That's really cool. And uh, he's still with us. That's cool. He's still with us. He's 81 years old, Terrence Hill. So again, sorry that five minutes that I haven't talked about the movie, but I wanted to give a little bit as to who Terrence Hill and Bud Spencer are. Bud Spencer was a bigger guy. Terrence Hill was more a thinner guy. And a lot of the films, they would have this back and forth where Bud Spencer, he would hit people on the head and instantly knock them out or have this big strength while Terrence Hill would be more flexible, agile, a lot of times would slap people by a way of punching, slapping them. There's a point in the, some of the Trinity movies where he slaps and pulls out a gun, pulls at them, slaps them, then pulls in the gun. Like certain gags in movies, a lot of times their movies were linked up to these really fun fight sequences if you watch They Call Me Trinity or Watch Out We're Mad. I would say They Call Me Trinity Watch Out They're Mad is their two best ones. That's my opinion. And then They Still Call Me Trinity is a step down from the first one, but I think it's still pretty decent. This one was okay. It came out in 1981. I wouldn't say I loved it, but it was okay. Uh, the summation of this movie is Terrence Hill is a gambler. He's in depth. So he has to escape and he escapes onto this boat, which is Bud Spencer's boat. Bud Spencer's supposed to go around selling this product as he's sailing, you know, to promote it. One thing leads to another, he finds out that Terrence Hill is on the boat. They get into a fight, then they settle down, then they get into more of a fight, they go overboard, the boat goes away, and then they get to an island, and then they have to figure out what to do on the island. Right? They deal with some natives. They deal with a Japanese officer that still thinks World War II is going on. Uh, funny enough, that guy, the Japanese guy, is actually the actor John Fujioka. If you've seen American Ninja, the guy who trains Michael Dukov's character in the... Mostly see him in flashbacks, but he appears in the third act in American Ninja. He also had a bit part in Steel Dawn with Patrick Swayze. He's been a few others. He's in this one, so it was cool to see him in there. And they deal with the natives who take a liking to our two characters. Uh, they also become friends with this guy, get him to realize, no, the war is over and everything's fine. And then the bad guys are these pirates that look like they're bikers. I mean, they're pirates, but again, they do look like they're bikers straight out of every which way but loose or something. And I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I laughed as much in this compared to Watch Out We're Mad or They Call Me Trinity, but I still got some fun, goofy moments. I mean, I think with Terrence Hill, Bud Spencer movies, there's probably going to be a like or hate it mentality. Let me put it this way. If you watch They Call Me Trinity and Watch Out We're Mad, and if you don't like them, then you're not going to like any of them. That's really the best way to put it. So again, start out with They Call Me Trinity and Watch Out We're Mad. And if you like them, cool. And most of them are on YouTube for free, as I've come to find out. Because they don't have much of a release here in the U.S. Because mostly were Italian films and then they were dubbed. 
And I will say, granted, this is superficial, but I liked when they're dubbed a certain way. Because they call me Trinity, still call me Trinity, and watch out, we're mad. They're both dubbed by the same people in those three movies. And since I grew up with that and they call me Trinity, that's how I like to hear them. But then throughout some of their other movies, they're dubbed by different people. And it just throws me off a bit. I know it's not fair because none of them are actually their voice because they're Italian. They didn't speak much of English. But it's that superficial thing. That I prefer them dubbed a certain way. And I just wish, in retrospect, they would have just used them in all the movies they did, the same dubbers. In retrospect, I wish they did that. But again, that's just me. But I mean, you do get some fun bits of humor and slapstick and goofy humor. When Terrence Hill keeps stealing Bud Spencer's food, and he's like, what the hell's going on? He doesn't realize there's a stowaway yet. And he gets pissed at the parrot that's his pet. You steal my food? And the parrot up yours. And Bud Spencer's like, yeah, up yours too. <laughs> Or when a fight happens, it's fun. There's uppercuts and one goes through the roof and comes out. Another piece of the roof comes down. Or Bud Spencer takes the leader's sword and breaks it into pieces. And then Terrence Hill is using more of agility. He'll use a horse kick where he gets on his hands and knee. He gets on his hands and thrusts his legs out to hit people in the face. I don't know how you call that kid. A donkey kick, a horse kick, I don't know. Something like that. He did that a few times in, in movies. That was pretty cool. There's a guy later on with headphones. He's wearing these headphones. And I think it's Bud Spencer. He does this. <laughs> Embrace the headphones and crushes them into the guy. So there's flies of pancake. He knots a guy out and the toupee of this guy flies off. And it was harmless entertainment. Again, I, I didn't think it went as fast of his pace as some of the, the ones I grew up with, but I would have liked at least a little bit more action or a little bit tighter pacing on a superficial level. We'll like to have seen the original dubbers. And they told me trying to watch over man to come back for this. If it is, then their voices sound just a bit different. But again, that's a superficial thing. I mean, it's kind of hard to review a film like this because it, it definitely is a different. There's going to be people who either they like it or they don't. Either they're with it or they're not with it. And again, I would just say if you get into Terrence Hill, Bud Spencer, I would not start with this. But if you do like those two and like some others, this is not a bad one. This is not one of their horrible ones. And like I said, there's a couple of fun little fight sequences it was cool to see the guy from American Ninja in there. Terrence Hill, Bud Spencer still work well physically together. Their expressions, their reactions to certain events, the way they express their body. They, they did have chemistry with each other. And I think that's part of the success of these movies in Italy. I guess some in the U.S. because there's some people who like these guys, including me. And I guess this is really sort of me stumbling through a review and also just introducing people to the Bud Spencer and, and Terrence Hill. I didn't check out trailers, check out clips uh, of They Call Me Trinity and Watch Out We're Mad. And then some of the others. You did just of what they are. I'm sure you can find them for free on YouTube or at least a bunch of clips. And if you liked them, give this a watch. I mean... I'm a sucker for movies where people are looking for treasure, maybe because that's something I always wanted to do. 
never did, but always wanted to do that adventure, looking for treasure. The location of being on the island, not a bad location to be on. Certain things happen at the finale. Spoiler alert, starting now, spoilers. Because they get the, they find this money, that's the treasure. It's in the compound of this Japanese soldier. Oh yeah, here's the money. And then he tells one of them, oh, by the way, it's fake. I mean, this is from World War II and the Americans had this fake money. And then they find out it's fake and they battle the pirates and then they contact the military. And then the military tells them, oh yeah, by the way, this is real. We just, that fake thing is was a, a fake out. It was put out there to fake people out. So and they're like, it really is the money? And then Bud Spencer's reaction and his reaction to Terrence Hill, just, it was Terrence Hill's idea to contact the military. And then now Bob Spencer, after the military leave, he just wants to murderize, murderize, that's not a word, but rip apart Terrence Hill. I thought that was a fun reaction. So yeah, there's a little spirit of Three Stooges, like that kind of, those era movies. Maybe not as silly acting wise from these two guys, but in spirit. So, harmless fluff is the best way to call this. Harmless fluff. I think, again, I would not say this is how to introduce people to Terrence Hill, Bud Spencer, but if you watch enough of them and like them, this is not that bad of a movie. This was a decent time waster. Not one that I loved, not one of my favorites, but a decent time waster. But with that said, Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.